Hey, it's Brianna. Welcome to today's video, which is going to be a get ready with me where I share my self-care pamper routine. If you're new, make sure you click that subscribe button and I hope that you enjoy today's video. We're set in the spa mood by lighting a spa scented candle. And I've got my extra large lemon water here to stay hydrated. And I'm gonna get started filling up the tub here. And a huge thank you to Osea for sponsoring this Get Ready With Me today. Osea has become such an important part of my self-care routine and the results that I've seen on my skin are amazing. So I was really excited to partner with them and recommend to you their limited edition Golden Glow Trio. So in this trio, there is a plant-infused body brush. I love using this on my skin before I take my bath or my shower every single day because it exfoliates your skin, it gets rid of all those dead skin cells, and it improves your circulation and just helps your skin look so much more youthful. Then I use their anti-aging body balm on rough areas of my skin like my elbows and my knees. It's infused with coconut oil and passion fruit and other clean ingredients and it just leaves those areas feeling so moisturized and so smooth. And my favorite product in this trio is the body oil. It's infused with seaweed and when I put this on my skin, it just leaves it so glowy and golden and moisturized. I use it all over my entire body and it's not greasy at all, which is what I absolutely love about it, but it just leaves my skin absolutely glowing and it just gives me that confidence and I could not recommend these products to you more. I think every woman deserves to feel confident and also have some time for self-care and self-love and that's why I just love this mother-daughter brand as well. So the founder created all of these products based on her grandmother's story. She just believed that the ocean had healing powers. So she had an injury, she went to the ocean every single day and she was healed. So the founder has taken all of these amazing ingredients from the ocean that are clean and natural and incorporated them into the Osea products. And I can just see such an amazing result on my skin of before I use the product to after I apply it and instantly glowing. But after seeing the results for myself on my skin, I could not recommend Osea to you more. It is perfect for any age and any skin type. And if you'd like to support this mother-daughter brand this Mother's Day, you can get the limited edition Golden Glow Trio. I'll have it linked down in my description box below. And if you use my code BRIEGOLDEN, you get an additional 10% off. So again, I'll have Osea and their limited edition Golden Glow Trio linked down below. Now I'm going to wash my hair and put it in my hair mask so that it can sit on my hair while I'm in the tub. Once I'm in the tub, I try to stay extra hydrated. I love using a lip scrub to make my lips extra soft. And then I'll use a face mask while I'm either watching a TV show or reading a book. I also use this time to shave when I'm in the tub too. Once I'm all done in the tub, I hop back in the shower just to rinse out the hair mask. Next, I'll use my Osea body oil all over my skin after I dry off. Next, I put on my face moisturizer and I use a rose quartz face massager to smooth it into my skin. I 
I like using these cooling roller balls. You put them in the fridge before you use them and it helps to decrease any puffiness and redness on your skin. Then I'll put on some brow growth gel. And if I'm using self tanner on my body, I'll put it on now, but I just gotten back from a trip, so I didn't really need it this week, but I did use a makeup brush to apply self tanner to my cheeks and forehead and jawline and neck, just to keep that sun kiss glow on my face where I don't get as much sun because I usually always wear a sun hat. Now I'll take the towel out of my hair and put in a leave-in conditioner. I also use a smoothing spray for blow drying it, and then I add in some mousse for that extra volume. Finally, I tied a silk scarf around my hair to hold it back so that it could air dry while I did my makeup. All right, so I've got my glam bag here and I'm gonna walk you through my current makeup routine. So I get started with, this is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. The shade I'm using right now is Bamboo 5.5, but I also have, this is the Tan 07. Sometimes I'll just add that in if I'm looking a little bit tanner. Um, but right now I feel like for the springtime weather that we've been having, I'm not as tan as I normally would get in the summer like when we were living in Hawaii. But I just put this all over my face. And then I have the Tarte. This is the Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape. And this is great for under eye circles. And if I ever have any like blemishes or spots that need to get covered up, kind of highlight my nose with it too. And just kind of do the areas where I tend to have a little bit of redness. And then this is a um, like blending concealer brush that I just kind of use this then and like put it on my eyelid, I sort of like tap the brush out um, and put this then on my eyelids and you know, just kind of like work it so that it's eventually all blended nicely and covers up any of those dark spots or redness. <laughs> then this is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder and I just kind of use like a really big powder brush and I don't use a ton because I like my skin to look a little bit more glowy, but this just helps I feel like set all of the liquid makeup that I just put on. Then I use the Hoola, this is their bronzer and I just use the big brush again and I sort of squeeze it to then like suck in my cheekbones and give almost like a contour look and then I'll brush it around my forehead and I usually then get like a pretty heavy another dip and go down my neck and along my jawline. So sort of all those places where I use the sunless tanner too, um, this just kind of again helps like bring it all out. Then I have, this is California, it's a blush also by Benefit and I just use a blush brush and sort of swipe from like the apples of my cheek in like an upward U, like right above where I contoured. And then I'll hit my nose and my chin and just a little bit across the forehead too. Eyeshadow, I've been really into just pink eyeshadow lately. I feel like it works really well no matter what your eye color is. I have greenish hazel colored eyes and I feel like this just always goes well with whatever I'm wearing and brings out my eyes still. So I combine, there's like a softer pink and then almost, it's kind of like has a golden shimmer in this pink. I just combine those two shades and brush this all over my eyelids. And then I have some highlighter. This was sent to me by um, Makeup Revolution. It was from their Grinch collection, but any kind of a highlighter will do. And I just run this underneath my eyebrows. And then if I want to look sort of like extra glam and glowy, 
I'll add it to the inside corners of my eyes. And if you want to look extra awake, um, I'll run this just along my lower lash line and it sort of adds that glowy, like you've got a really good night's sleep. <laughs> I'm going to do my full lips yet, but I'm just gonna add, this is a Lip Maximizer Serum um, by Dior. It has like hyaluronic um, acid in it. And let's kind of put that on to make my lips look super moisturized for when I go to do my lip color. So let that sit for a second. Um, and I'm gonna use this Anastasia. This is their Brow Wiz. The shade I have is taupe, because I do have lighter eyebrows compared to what my hair color, my natural hair color is, obviously. I dye it blonde and have extensions. Um, but I just kind of brush them up and just sort of outline the outsides. And then after I go to like where it's pointed up, I just do sort of like a short line there and then go back to the brush side and brush up what I just drew. So it kind of just like accentuates them. And then I have, this is their Anastasia, it's the clear brow gel. I know they make this in colors too, but I've just always used the clear. And I'll just brush up my brows to make them look a little fuller. It just kind of allows them then to set well for the day. All right, other side. <laughs> All right, next let's do lips. I'm gonna start with, this is the Tarte, the Maracuja Juicy Lip Liner. It is in the shade Mauve. Um, I really like this because I feel like it's natural. Hard to talk when you're doing this, but I do overline a little bit. Once it's lined, I'll just go like slightly inside and just color in a little bit. And then I love, I love like this entire Tarte line. This is the Maracuja Lip Cream. This is in the shade Desert Rose. This one is really pretty. It's like very close to natural lip color, but just kind of enhances it. And then on the top, this is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. Um, this is in the shade Primrose. Again, it looks very, very natural. But there you go. I've had so many people comment that it looks like I've had my lips done. I promise you the only time I ever got lip injections, it was right after my, my dad passed away. It was like August or like July of 2019. I did it right before we went on a two week trip to Europe. That is the only time I've ever done anything to my lips. And I think everybody thinks I've done something because of using this stuff. I think it like really just like plumps them out and makes them look like really nice and puffy and plump. So I promise you haven't gotten lip injections anytime recently, but I feel like this stuff just like really enhances your natural lips really nicely. And the last thing to do for my makeup is Urban Decay. This is their Wild Lash Mascara. I tried this on a whim just walking through Sephora. I saw it and I was looking for some new mascara and I ended up loving it. I feel like it makes your lashes look really nice and dark and long but not like ever spidery or chunky. So I love this mascara. If I even compare one eye to the other, I feel like it just really enhances your natural lashes really nicely. Okay, I moved over to the window so that you could see the makeup in more of a natural light. Um, and now it is time to blow dry my hair. I don't know, I know people go back and forth on like this debate of what you do first, like hair, makeup, and putting your outfit on. I always do my outfit last just because I like to let my lotion all set, and if I do my self tanner, I like to let that like set as well before I put any clothes on. But makeup and hair, I kind of go back and forth. Like today, since it's cooler, I like doing my makeup first, so then my hair has time to air dry a bit and there's not as much heat damage being put on it. But if it's a lot warmer or like when I was in Hawaii and you know we didn't have the air on all of the time, I would do my hair generally first if I was going to blow dry it, just so that I wasn't like face sweating before I put my makeup on and I would do my makeup last. So let me know in the comments, what's the order that you do it out of your outfit, your hair and your makeup? Let me know. Okay, take this scarf out. Isn't that so cute for summer? Thank you again to my girlfriend from Sweet Home Taco for sending me. That it's like adorable. Um, 
But okay, I'm gonna use, this is from Mindy McKnight's Heritage line that's at Walmart. She sent this to me, but I feel like it is just the best way to give yourself an at-home blowout because I cannot, with a regular blow dryer, give myself that blowout look, and this just helps so much. Okay, now I've kind of let the top of my hair stay just a little damp, and I'm gonna use this and heat it up and then put the rollers in it just to give it a little extra volume. Okay, one thing I would recommend doing if you want your hair to be sort of flipped under, turn the blow dryer on and hold it on for like 10 seconds and then turn it off and just hold it here. Like don't pull it out yet. Let it like hold here until it gets nice and cool. Honestly, the longer the better and it will hold better for you too. But it's just a nice way to get like that little blowout flip in. Okay, these are cooled now so I wanted to sort of show you how it will look once I take them out. And what I like to do too is I'll like tease under these a little bit, like just a little bit with the brush so that this stays a little fuller too. And just kind of with my fingers then brush it out. But yeah, I love this for just an at home, easy sort of blowout look. All right, one of the last things I will do then is just get some hair oil. I love how this one smells and rub it between my hands and just sort of drag it through the ends of my hair and kind of like those pieces on my bangs too. So it looks a little less frizzy and just kind of then brush it out. There you go. That is my self care routine. So thank you so much for getting ready with me. I hope that you schedule some time for your own self care. It is so important. And don't forget to check out Osea. I'll have it linked down in my description box below. And my code is Brie Golden. It truly makes the perfect Mother's Day gift. And happy Mother's Day to all of the moms and mother figures out there. I appreciate you being part of this community so much. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, loves. I need somebody.